Okay, I want to do just a, a really quick video here uh, on function notation, just to make sure that people understand uh, what it means here. So let's say that we've got y is equal to, um, let's just make this really straightforward, 2x plus 3. Okay, so there's my function, y equals 2x plus 3. I'm going to write this using function notation. And for the most part, I think what most people think of this is we're simply going to, to replace y with this notation right here, f and then an x in parentheses, okay? And that's true, that, I mean, this, this does replace the y in that expression there, okay, in that equation. Okay, but I want to explain a little bit more of what's going on here so that you understand the power of function notation, okay? Now, when I ask what does f stand for, I, a lot of times people say function, and yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's why we use f, granted. But in the context of this problem, f, Okay, f represents the rule. Now, what is, what's the rule in this case? And what we mean by this, and I think it helps, it makes a huge difference if you explain this in words. The rule is multiply the independent variable, okay, independent variable uh, by uh, two and add three. That is what f means. Multiply the independent variable by 2 and add 3. So then what is this part? Okay, well this part right here, the, the parentheses, x parentheses, this is identifying, okay, this is telling us, ah, the independent variable is x. Whatever is showing up inside the, the parentheses there is being used to replace the independent variable here, okay? So what this rule says here, f is multiply the independent variable by two and add three. Oh yeah, the independent variable is x. Therefore, this means two times x plus three. And the reason why this uh, allows for a lot of kind of, it, it's very useful here, because now if I plug in one here, well, f still stands for the same rule. Multiply the independent variable by two and add three. This time though, the, the value of the independent variable is, at, is one. Now notice I'm, I'm not multiplying the one by x. The mistake I see a lot is people try to, like they try to leave the x in there. But no, no, no. Remember the x in this case here, in this version of it, was the independent variable. Well now that's one. So this becomes two times one plus three. Okay, and then simplify that to be the answer five. Uh, if I make this, uh, you know, like negative, negative two, again, this is now replacing the independent variable. So because it's replaced the x, it replaces the x here. The rule is multiply the independent variable by two. Okay, well, in this case, the independent variable is, the value is negative two, add three. So it's negative four plus three, the answer is negative one. And then this can be used for other variables even. I can put in, for example, I can put a in there. Let's say that the independent variable is now gonna be a. So this becomes two times a plus three. Okay. The, but the, the surest way to understand and make sure that you're doing that right here is to make sure you get in your head what is it that the f represents and the f represents the rule. Whatever's inside the parentheses, that represents the independent variable that the rule is acting on.